from extremely secluded hermit churches to the biggest communist era monument ever. These are 12 strange forgotten places in Europe. Number 12, the Petrova Gora Monument. The official name for this structure is the monument to the uprising of the people of Kurdun and Bania. It was at this exact place that 300 villagers armed with only pitchforks lost their lives in a battle during World War II. The monument was erected in 1981 and fell in disrepair during the early 90s. Most of these pictures are from around 2010 when the stainless steel was not stolen. With each passing year, the memory of the souls lost on the Petrova Gora Hill diminishes piece by piece. There have been efforts to revitalize the area and repair the monument, but nothing serious has happened as of now. Number 11, Gastelogate. The name of this island literally translates to the rugged fort. The island was a hermitage occupied since the 9th century, and it is dedicated to John the Baptist. A hermitage is a place where a person or a group of people live in seclusion from the rest of the world. The island has seen its fair share of suffering, including multiple fires and attacks by notable privateers like Francis Drake. The most interesting part of the location is the stairs leading up to the island. This is not the most obscure location in Europe, and considering that season 7 of HBO's Game of Thrones is shooting scenes there, the popularity of the island is sure to increase tenfold. Number 10. Transnistria Transnistria is a little-known presidential republic located between Moldova and the Ukraine. And when you take a look at some pictures from there, you can see that it has been forgotten by men and time. Since antiquity, the region of Transnistria has been occupied by many different tribes and has been under the control of many empires. After the fall of the Soviet Union came the War of Transnistria in 1992. At this point in time, no UN country recognizes Transnistria as an independent state. Number 9. The Wolf's Lair The Wolf's Lair is a very important piece of World War II history. It is located near the border of Poland and Russia and it served as the first Eastern Front military headquarters for the Germans. It was built in early 1941, and Hitler arrived there in July of 1941. He spent more than three and a half years there, even after the infamous Operation Valkyrie, otherwise known as the closest we ever got to assassinating Hitler. On July 20th, 1944, Klaus von Stauffenberg snuck in a bomb inside a briefcase to a high-ranking military meeting that Hitler had organized. After placing the suitcase right next to Hitler, he left the room to accept the phone call. Unfortunately, a man standing near the suitcase moved it out of the way with his legs, thus shielding Hitler from the blast. After the war, the entire site was left to the elements by Poland's communist government. The site was barely visited until the early 90s when efforts to develop the Wolf's Lair as a tourist attraction began. Number 8. Dargav's Village Located in modern-day North Ossetia slash Alania, the village of Dargav's is also known as the City of the Dead. It comprises 99 tombs and crypts, with the oldest crypt dating back to the 14th century. This burial site is rarely visited by tourists and even locals don't like going there because of the bad legends surrounding the place. It is believed that any man who dared to walk into the city of the dead would never come out alive. Um, considering we're looking at pictures from this place, I doubt the curse has any truth to it, but you never know. Maybe the curse is delayed or something. Number 7. The Katsky Pillar The Katsky Pillar is a limestone monolith located in the central part of Georgia. No, not the state, the country. Locals refer to it as the Pillar of Life and have created quite a few legends about it. The pillar was first noted by scholars in the 18th century, but no one bothered to climb up there until 1944. It was actually the first documented ascent of the monolith. By that time, only small ruins remained from the original church that was built in the 18th century. Nowadays, the pillar has a small church, a crypt, and three hermit cells for anyone that wishes to live in total isolation. Number 6. The Jonas Caves The Jonas Caves are a unique cave system situated in the middle of France. This cave dwelling was originally started by Celts around 400 BC 
Since then, it has been occupied by villagers, monks, and knights. During its years in operation, the dwelling amassed 70 rooms spanning five floors. The Jonas Caves complex fell into obscurity and was abandoned at the start of the French Revolution in the 18th century. With no upkeep, the place became dangerous and visitation dwindled immensely. Nowadays, you can still visit the caves, but beware. Further expansion of the system is definitely frowned upon, but I guess not illegal. Number five, the Stone Desert. Did you know there's actual deserts in Europe? Crazy, right? There's a few, but they are there. The Bulgarian name for this place is Publiti Kameni, which translates to beaten in rocks. What makes this place really unique is the rock formations themselves. Every rock is hollow on the bottom and filled with sand. From afar, the formations resemble ruins of a great Roman or Byzantine building. But when you get up close and personal, you can really see the strangest of these rocks. There are a few theories about why these rocks exist, but none have been conclusive in figuring out the exact process behind the phenomenon. Number four, the Kirko Car Cemetery. It is strange to imagine that there is a car cemetery that is not located in the US and does not have a 67 Mustang fastback laying around, but places like this do exist. The Kirko Car Cemetery is located in Sweden and sports a lot of rusted Volvos and Saabs. This place has become ideal for photo shoots, and people go there just to enjoy looking at the rusted out old cars. In 1998, the Swedish government wanted to destroy the site and recycle all the metal. But as it turned out, a lot of people loved the place and petitioned against its destruction. The location got a 49 year permit to exist. So uh, if you're planning on going there, just make sure you go there before 2047. Number three, Daniel Sihastrul's dwelling. In the mountains of Romania, there lies a cave. It was used by Daniel Sihastrul. He was an advisor for the king of Romania and a spiritual guide for the Romanian Orthodox Church. Due to his popularity, Sihastrul decided to live in the middle of nowhere and build this cell. He is considered a saint and has been credited with demon exorcisms, removing suffering and healing the sick. His actions sparked the hermit movement, and there are many small huts and isolated dwellings all around the mountains of the city of Voronet. Number 2. The Schumann Monument The monument to 1300 years of Bulgaria was built in 1981 to commemorate the 1300th anniversary of the first Bulgarian Empire. It is considered to be the biggest and heaviest communist monument on earth. The monument has actually been maintained through the years, and even though it might get some visitors, it is not on the top of anyone's bucket list. The Cubist-style structure has stone sculptures of the Khans that founded the country and brought it to the size of an empire, although briefly. It is truly a sight to behold when you walk through the Great Hall and notice the giant stone faces staring at you. It makes them feel larger than life, or you very, very small, whichever way you want to look at it. Number one, the Monastery of the Holy Trinity. This vertigo-inducing monastery is located in central Greece. It was constructed on a 400-meter cliff, and it was part of a larger chain of 24 monasteries in the area. Nowadays, only six remain open. Although people have seen pictures of this place before, it is often confused for a Buddhist temple. It is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and was even used in a James Bond film in the 80s. The popularity of the monastery dwindled down, then began rising again because of its popularity on social media. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out this video.